This is my small rig camera setup where we'll also add a monitor. Let's take a look what's in the box. This is the small rig cold shoe adapter with additional quarter inch screw. This is the small rig portable mini side handle quarter inch to 20 screws. This handle has quarter inch thread on top of the handle to add on more attachments. This handle also has a built in hex wrench at the bottom of the handle. Here we've got the small rig cage. This cage is for my Sony 6300 camera we'll be using for this video. We have a cold shoe mount on the top, quarter inch thread holes and three eighth thread holes. Rubber pads to help grip the camera and a quarter inch screw to attach to the camera from the cage. All these threaded holes allows you to add on as much as you want for your setup. Here we got the small rig non-slip top handle with shoe mount for either a microphone, a video light, or a monitor or whatever you want to add on to the top to help you with your filming. This comes with quarter inch screws which we'll attach to the top of the cage. Now we'll show how simple it is to attach the cage to your camera by screwing up the quarter inch screw at the bottom of the cage. You can tighten up with a flathead screwdriver or a coin. Here you can see the profile of the camera inside the cage. Here we can still undo the flap to remove any batteries if needed. Here I can still grip the camera very well. Now we'll attach the top handle using the quarter inch screws. There's also quarter inch holes on the front of the top handle to add on more accessories. This handle comes in handy when you're trying to film close to the floor whilst walking along or filming low and rising up. I will show putting the side handle together using the hex wrench that comes in the bottom of the handle. I found the easiest way was to lay the screws in place, attach the frame underneath and screw from the top. Here's the size of the handle in the top left corner. You can adjust the handle up and down to suit your needs. You can tighten up the quarter inch screws onto the cage by hand. Then tighten the screws once you've got the desired height of the handle. I find the handles allow me to have steadier shots, less micro jitters in the filming, with more options, with a sturdy grip, with smoother movements. And the good news is the cage and the handles aren't expensive. The cage costs around £30, the top handles around £20 and the side handles around £20. I'll leave links in the description below for Amazon or eBay so you can check them out for yourselves. The small rig cold shoe adapter is around pounds this will allow you to add on a monitor lights or a microphone and many other attachments now we're going to look at adding a monitor I bought for this setup to allow me to have a better view whilst filming this monitor we'll be using is the Phil world f6 pro it's a 5.7 inch monitor and it's 4k this monitor is priced around 125 pounds have a quick look at the manual and then the details.
comes with a nice carrier case to keep everything together. This is everything that comes with the monitor shown at the top of the screen that's put inside this case. Here we have the HDMI to micro USB cable that we'll connect from the monitor to our camera. Here we have the sunshade to put around the monitor screen to protect from any unnecessary light reflecting off the monitor. If you're outside in a lot of sunlight this will help protect the monitor and allow you to see it a lot clearer. Here we have the battery charger with a USB to micro USB charger lead. Here's the HDMI cable. Now we're looking at the battery that's included. It's an F750 battery. This is the micro USB to USB charger cable. This shoe mount bracket allows you to flip the monitor vertically and horizontally and move at any angle you desire. Here we have the sunshade mounting frame which will clip onto the monitor and allow you to stick on the sunshade around the outside. Now we're going to take a look at the monitor itself. Now we'll clip the battery into place. You simply slide it and it clicks into place. Now we'll screw the monitor to the bracket. Here you'll see how easy it is to tilt and adjust the angle. We plug in the HDMI end into the monitor and attach the tilt arm onto the cold shoe mount on top of the top handle that's mounted to the small rig cage. Now plug the micro USB end into the camera. Now I turn on the camera and turn on the monitor to make sure we have connectivity. and it comes up straight away. Now we'll have a quick look through some of the functions. I'll leave all the details in the description below. Here I put some wrap round around the cable so it's a bit tidier. The setup doesn't feel heavy and easy to switch between grips. Now we'll take a look at using this setup. Now we'll remove the camera from the cage using a coin or a flathead screwdriver. Now we'll see what the monitor is like on top of the camera without using the cage.
This is a very light setup with or without the cage. Thanks for watching the video, like and subscribe, click on the description below for more details and links to these items in this video.